Welcome to this video, where we'll walk you through the register full payment feature on customer invoices in Odoo. This is a powerful and efficient way to manage payments and keep your financial records accurate. Let's dive into the details step by step. To get started, navigate to the accounting app. Click on Customers menu and go to Invoices. Once there, filter for Posted and Unpaid to find an invoice in the payable state. Now select any invoice from a list. From within the invoice, click Register Payment button. When you click on the Register Payment button on a customer invoice, a pop-up modal will appear. This modal is where you'll provide all the necessary payment details. Here's an overview of the fields you need to fill out, along with some explanation of their significance. Journal. The first field you'll encounter is the journal. This represents the accounting journal to which the payment should be registered. Select the appropriate journal depending on the type of payment. For example, use a bank journal for bank transfers or a cash journal for cash payments. The journal ensures the transaction is recorded correctly in your financial books. Payment method. Next, you'll select the payment method. Odoo offers several options here to match your business needs. Manual. Choose this option if the payment is made outside Odoo, such as with cash or a physical check. It's a flexible option for payments that aren't processed electronically. Batch deposit. This method is ideal when you receive multiple checks from customers. It allows you to group them together into a batch deposit, which can then be submitted to your bank in one go. SEPA Direct Debit. This option is for customers in the Eurozone. It allows a creditor to collect funds directly from a customer's bank account. Note that you'll need a signed mandate from the customer to use this method. Recipient Bank Account. Despite the field's label, this doesn't refer to your bank account. Instead, it's the customer's account from which the funds will be drawn. This field is optional, but can be useful if you want to record the customer's bank details for reference. Amount and Currency. The amount field is automatically set to the full invoice amount by default. This ensures that the entire outstanding balance is cleared. However, you can manually adjust it if a partial payment is being made. The currency is also auto-populated based on your default settings, but can be modified if needed. Payment date. Specify the payment date, which is the date on which the payment was actually received or made. This date is crucial for ensuring accurate financial reporting and reconciling your bank statements. Memo. The memo field is pre-filled with the invoice number by default. This helps in easily identifying which invoice the payment corresponds to. You can change it if necessary. For example, you could enter the check number or a brief description of the payment. Review and create the payment. Once all the required fields are filled out, double check the information for accuracy. Click the Create Payment button to register the payment. Odoo will automatically create the corresponding journal entries and mark the invoice as paid. Once the payment is validated, you'll see the IN payment banner on the top right of the invoice. Once the payment has been confirmed by the bank, the banner will change to paid. The amount due at the bottom of the invoice will also be updated and the payment will be logged with a date. You can click the small info button to the left of the payment line to see the payment details. To view more details, click view. To remove this payment from the invoice, click unreconcile button. Key benefits of register full payment. This feature not only ensures that your customer invoices are updated, but also helps maintain accurate financial records, provides flexibility in payment methods, simplifies batch processing for multiple payments. Conclusion. That's it. You've now learned how to use the register full payment feature in ODA to streamline your accounting workflow. By understanding the details of each field and option, you can ensure your payment records are precise and your financial processes are efficient. I hope you all have a clear understanding of the concepts covered in this video. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave a comment below. For more support, please subscribe, share, and like the video. And don't forget to click the bell icon to stay updated on my latest releases.